Okay, we're going to take this box down because it was disconnected. We unhooked it from this uh, double pole breaker that was in here. And this is a double pole breaker. We're going to run, we've ran our first 120 volt circuit from here, so we're going to run a second 120 volt circuit from here. And uh, here is all the charred wire that was in there. I know it got hot and actually melted it and burned it. Okay, so we're going to pull this wire over, and right off the bat, I forgot my hammer, but you know what, I'm going to be thankful to my Heavenly Father, I remember. I'm not going to just moan about and complain about what's forgotten, and leave what's forgotten behind, and you drop forward with what you remembered and what you can do, and you be thankful for it, you don't piss and moan, you don't complain, God doesn't like that. So you be thankful for what you remembered and just do the best you can with what you have. I rejoice because Job has given me uh, the strength to accept forgetfulness and rejoice and praise him. Learning to pray about and leaving behind what's forgotten. If it's forgotten, Jehovah has a reason for it to be forgotten. Praise him and don't piss and moan about it. Because pissing and moaning does not give you anything. It's not going to help you. It's going to make you more angry, so you just go without it. Be thankful for what you remember. I just thank you, Lord. I just want to praise you and give you honor and glory and rejoice in your name and do what's pleasing to you. And with that, I'll use the side of my pliers and I'll just do it that way, just a little harder. But you thank the Lord for what you have and what you can do. You don't piss and moan and complain. He does not want that. And he does not accept it either. And I don't accept it either. So 
is we're just going to do it the hard way. Transfer slowly. It's not worth losing your salvation over forgetfulness. It's just not worth it. You're either rejoicing going without and compl not complaining about it and just rejoicing and being thankful for what I have. Amen. I just want to praise him and focus on him and not just a moment and give Satan what he wants. Taking God's name in vain and all that jazz because he does not like it. Jehovah has feelings. I forgot it because he's given me the ability to, to use something that's not going to be used through the hammer. So let's praise God, give him glory, give him honor, and do it the best way I can with what I got. And that's all you can do. You don't piss and moan, carry it on. It's not This works pretty good as a hammer. And I just thank the Lord for it. Just praise Him. Give Him honor and give him glory in all your worship. Amen. And don't complain about the things you don't have and stuff you forget. Because all it is is stuff. Just leave it behind you. Don't even care about it either. Things I forget. It doesn't mean anything. To me. Nothing. Just leave it behind. It's gone. It's forgotten. You go without. You just worship your Heavenly Father. Everything's in His hands. It's all in the Lord's hands. It's all up to the Lord. Amen. I lost my hammer. Good. I'll buy another one. So we'll bring our wire into our Romex connector right here. I just thank you, Lord, that I forget things and leave them behind. And I don't even care anymore. Just leave them behind. Because it is not going to help at all to piss and moan and complain about it. What will that change? Absolutely nothing. So give God glory, praise Him, thank Him, worship Him, do the best you can with what you remember. And that's all you can do. Just give God glory and praise and worship Him. I just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, so I'll strip it while you're here. You never complain to your Heavenly Father. He doesn't want you to complain. You just praise Him, worship Him, give Him thanks, give Him honor, give Him glory.
Okay, we got our jacket to come in. See how nice it is when you don't care about the things you forget and you don't piss and moan and complain about it. You just truck forward, focus on the Lord, and not piss and moan and complain because it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you a bit. Okay, so first we'll get our ground wire over onto our neutral bar. This is a main box, so you can put your grounds and neutrals on the same bus bar. I'm going to bring the camera around so you can see better. To get your copper all the way through the terminal there. We'll just tighten this up. Make sure it's tight. Nice and square corner here. Now we'll bring our white wire over. We'll come over and we'll come down along the edge here and we'll bend it and go in right up here. The light goes on the neutral bar here. Make sure you don't get your insulation under the uh, terminal block there, under the terminal. Make sure your wire is up nice and straight and away from the cover screws here. Now we'll put our 20 amp breaker in. You'll see it says 20 on here. Here in the country I was born in, we use number 12 on 20 amps, 14 on 15 amps, number 10 on 30 amps. So I'll start at the bottom. 14 is on 15 amps, 12 is on 20 amps, black is live, white is neutral, and the bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors, so every may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. We use number 10 on 30 amps, number 8 on 40 amps, and number 6 on 50 amps. So we'll put our 20 amp breaker in here. We'll bring our black wire across the top. We'll come back down over this way a little bit, so we're down away from the, uh, and we'll bend it over here. And we'll strip it about right here. Strip it always with the hole that matches your uh, wire size you're using. Make sure you don't get the insulation under the uh, terminal. Now just tighten our screw. Okay, we'll make sure our wire is back out of the way of everything here. It's down nice and straight. We'll bend it here so it goes back. And it comes in nice and straight here. Comes across. And we'll make sure our Cover screws are not going to hit any uh, wires here. Our wires are all nice and straight. We'll get one more staple up here.
little flat so I don't puncture the wire and damage it. So we got our new circuit wired into our breaker box piece. Thanks for watching.